Hi everyone, it's Nick Pavlov here. In a short video, I wanted to show you an amazing new feature that came with the new Power BI February 2024 update. It's called Visual Calculations. I'm not exactly sure what possible implications are at this point, but DAX has just become real easy. You know, when I was testing this feature last night, I felt a little uncomfortable, right? Because I spent several months learning basic DAX formulas back in the day. So a lot of these things that I learned now can be done in a few clicks. So here I have a simple matrix. The year field I have in rows and I put different measures as columns. Now look at these measures, right? Don't worry about sales amount, cost, profit. These are basic, very simple calculations. Now look at this year over year growth measure. This is not an overly complex formula, right? But it does require the understanding of the filter context and the calculate formula. And the same goes with the running total formula, right? You need to understand how filter works, how calculate works to give you the running total. And now let me show you how the new visual calculations feature can do all of this in seconds. So what I will do first, I'll go to file and then go to options and settings go to options and then here you need to find the preview features right here scroll down here and then put a check mark under visual calculations click ok and this will ask you to restart your power bi desktop so do that quickly open the new power bi report and after you restart your power bi desktop click on the visual and then right here in the home tab in the calculation section, you're going to have a new button, new calculations. It's right next to measures. And what that is, if I click on it, it's going to open this new window on the bottom part of the screen. Using this interface, you can create calculations. So you don't have to write DAX formulas anymore. So for example, let me create a new column called new profit. And that's going to be basically sales amount minus COGS. That's it. And here I have this measure, sorry, not measure, but this calculation that right away appear on my matrix. Now let's do more complex ones, right? Let's, let's do the running total. To do that, what you can do, you can click on this FX uh, formula button. And then here, I mean, they don't have a lot of formulas available now, but I'm sure this will be expanded. But running total, let's just do running total. And then right here, I can obviously change the name of it. And all I need to do is to indicate the field, the name of the field for which I want to calculate running total. In this case, it's sales amount. And all I do is click enter. And now this new field, this new calculation will appear on my visual. Now let's do another formula. So I'll click FX. And then there, here I have moving average. This is a pretty complex formula. I would have to sit down and think about it and remember how to calculate this. I would have to go to probably SQL BI website and read Marco and Alberto's article about this and then try and test these formulas over here. And then hopefully I can figure this out. By the way, a big shout out to Marco and Alberto. They are one of the greatest minds when it comes to DAX. Definitely a lot of respect. So going back to my moving average, let's say I spent a couple of hours figuring this out. Now, instead of that, with the new calculations feature, all I can do is basically indicate sales amount and window, which is, let's say, three months. And that's it. The moving average calculation has been created, and it took me three seconds. So yeah, this new visual calculations feature is mind-blowing. I still don't know what to think of it, to be honest, how this is going to change DAX or how we're going to learn Power BI. I just wanted to share my raw feelings about this. Definitely exciting times. Have a good weekend, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.